Hello and welcome everybody to the LinkedIn Mastery Course week number one call. This is our group call. Today is uh, Wednesday, the April 26th, and I am uh, here with the one and only, the spectacular, the incredible Andros T. Sturgeon. Is that right? Andros T., right? I'm so glad, so to, be glad here. to be here. So glad to have you. It's, it's just a, a special treat every time we get to have you on these calls. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Andros is leaving the country very, very soon. So we, uh, we want to take, we want to make the most of his, uh, his presence in the U.S. while we can. So everyone, uh, put a, uh, put a one in the chat if you, uh, if you really like Andros's, uh, personality. And put a two if you do not like Andres' personality. <laughs> <laughs> but let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started uh, with, our, with our content for the day. And I want to welcome you all on the call. Um, so, Andros, why don't you kick us off? Tell us what we're covering today. Okay, so today we're today going, we're to, going go to go over module, module two. two. Module, module two, of course, two was our, our um, second, second part of this. Of and in that, in module, that module, we, we went we over went the over concepts the of, what, of it what it takes to, to find, find people, people and reach out, reach out to them. To them. And in this and call, I just want to expand on some of those concepts a little bit and answer a few questions that people had for me after they started reaching out. And we're going to go ahead and get to some of those concepts right now. Sounds great. And and Module 2 is also the the follow-up to Module 1. Is that correct? That's right. That's right. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and a, a special, special sneak, sneak preview. preview. Uh, I am letting I'm everyone ready. know that, so that module, three module three has just, has been, just been announced to follow, to follow this module, this module that, we're that we're going over, which is module, module two. two. I you. love it. I love it. Always, uh, always spoilers in this uh, on these calls. I love it. Okay. So well, why don't first we, of all, I, 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 what's that? What's that? No, let's get started. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. So, so first of all, I want to talk a little bit about some of the questions, questions that people that were asking. Were asking. Um, uh, you know, we, yeah, we in, in the module two, we talked about how do we talk specifically. And, uh, you know, so one of the things somebody asked is to look at certain demographics that people have and so you know, no. can't target can't people based on, on demographic, demographic. Uh, like, uh, like like, like that's something that's, that's uh, going to be geared uh, more towards, more towards uh, uh, like a, 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 um, uh, uh, you know, something yeah, like Facebook. Facebook. But we, we, we do we have, have a, a top top, top um, um, uh, you know, uh, you, know see, you can you see the type of engagement, the engagement that, people that people are having, having or you can or you see, see uh, the, uh, the That's good. That's good. Can, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, are going okay. to be really... We, we lost you there for... What's that? I lost you there for... I lost your audio there for a second, um, but I think you're back on now. Okay. You okay. can hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. okay. So, so, you know, you, you want to be, you want to be uh, uh, mindful about how you reach out to people. people. And, and, you know, it's really, it's about, really about relationship, relationship building, building, like, like how, how you're going, you're going to, to uh, build up build those relationships. relationships. Yeah, definitely. Um, now, <clears throat> why don't we just kind of reiterate some of the stuff we talked about uh, in Module 2. So why don't you just kind of go over... Um, Building the network a little bit, and let's let's just give some of those uh, tips and tricks right now, and just go over that in a little more detail right now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So, so one of the things I want to I talk about a little bit is connecting to influencers, people who might be able to help you, help you by, by engaging, engaging with content. With content. Now, an influencer, now, an influencer is somebody, is somebody who has, who has a, uh, a, a reach of, uh, of uh, maybe, uh, maybe, you know, they're posting, they're posting a lot, maybe they have other social platforms that they're very active in. And I want to show you about this, this, which is, which is um, uh, what what influencer, influencer marketing, marketing is. is. So has anybody so has heard of influencer marketing? marketing? Put, put, a put a one if you, you have, two if you haven't. 
Okay, I see that. Like a couple of ones, a couple of twos. All right, great. So let me show you uh, what influencer marketing is and how it can uh, help you specifically. So first of all, if you're, if you're an influencer, is an influencer is going to be somebody who um, is going to be uh, a a person that has. A reach. So if you have like a blog that you're writing, it's good to connect with influencers who are going to uh, connect with other people. And uh, these are the general rules I follow. I, 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 you know, to do any influencer campaign, I would start, uh, I would give the influencer creative freedom. So if you're going to want them to promote whatever you're doing, you definitely want to give them creative freedom to say what they want to say. Um, look beyond follower count. So even if you connect to somebody that has like a million and a half followers, sometimes what's called micro influencers, small influencers who have maybe a, a smaller reach, but who are paying more attention will have more engagement than influencers with larger numbers. Because sometimes it is easier to stack your numbers. And I would also make sure that the influencers are a right fit for the messaging that you're trying to portray. I always negotiate price because sometimes they want money. Sometimes they just want an exchange of link. And the information the influencer uh, gives can't be uh, a commercial. Now, the reason that you want to do an influencer type of campaign is if somebody – uh, if you have a book, let's say, and you want someone to promote your book or talk about your book, this is when an influencer comes in handy. So, uh, Justin, do you have any, uh, anything about this that you want to share? Uh, no, go ahead and keep going. I'm just kind of muting myself right now, letting you uh, take the stage, and I'll, I'll jump in here at the end. Okay, thank okay, you so much. so much. I appreciate, I appreciate that. It. I really do. Um, so, you know, here's some examples of uh, influencer marketing. So this is like the types of people that I would reach out for. Like this is somebody I found named Catherine College. She has 16, almost 17,000 subscribers. She's obviously very active on uh, Instagram where she has 6,000 followers. And, uh, you know, so uh, I'd like to see like what her messaging is, what her view count is. I mean, she's getting, you know, an average of like 22 views per video, which is pretty good. Um, you know, she's posting on a regular basis, like this is three weeks ago, this is one week ago, this is five days ago. Um, and so if I talked to her and I was writing something about this, if she sends out her messaging among her network, that might be pretty good, but it might also help the fact that her network is growing at a really profound basis. So this is something that you're going to want to look at just in the, from the standpoint of uh, how to get people to engage and form a relationship with someone who might help you long term. Uh, you know, look for someone who has an, uh, an active blog and a good LinkedIn network. So, you know, this is a person who, uh, you know, they have a, a book that they're promoting, but they're always looking for content. Uh, she's always putting stuff up. So uh, perhaps you doing an interview with her might be a really good way for you to get some social clout as well. And then uh, give them a social score based on their reach. So I would determine how far to pursue a relationship and uh, do the outreach. So, uh, you know, if you see that they are connected to a lot of people and every time they post something, they have a lot of comments and a lot of likes, specifically on LinkedIn, then definitely engage with them and ask them how you can maybe have a mutually beneficial relationship uh, to promote what they're doing as well because they're going to want the same thing. Uh, and then you can use uh, platforms like uh, Buzzsumo, which is a paid platform that helps with uh, influencer marketing. So I haven't, I haven't really used it, but I know it exists, and some people have had success with it. Yeah, then, uh, I would add. Um, I would add here that yeah, when you're when you're connecting with influencers, we're not. I mean, obviously, we've talked a lot about how influencers number one are going to increase your reach in your network. Um, the, but for the purpose of this call, we're kind of coming at it from a different angle. It's, that's, that's the primary reason on LinkedIn you're going to connect with these influencers is to build out your network and your reach, get more uh, second degree and third degree connections. Uh, but also, like what you're, you're talking about is if you want to get your content shared from one of these uh, influencers or micro-influencers like you're talking about, uh, you want to kind of do a little research and look at what they're already writing about. Like what are they already talking about? And if you can come up with like a blog article 
that fits in with what they're already messaging their audience about, something that's relevant to their audience, that's going to add value to their audience, they're I mean, uh, exponentially more likely to share it with their audience, and then that is a win-win for both of you because they're adding value to their audience. And then um, if they share if they share your article, that's exposing your content to a whole new network. Absolutely, absolutely. 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 So this is where it's really beneficial. I don't know if you know this, Justin, but your your webcam is off, and we would like to see your handsome face. Is that better? That's that's much better. Much better. I, I knew it was off. I I, w I was aware, but you called me out. So so here I am. <laughs> um, um, so here's an, here's example, an example of an influencer, of a, of a influencer email, email uh, that, you uh, that you might want to send. Want to send. Hello, Hello, influencer. influencer. My name My is on the stage, and I'm part of the influence of marketing, marketing team here at your company. company. Uh, uh, your name came up in a conversation after I read your blog, saw your video, read your book, saw your LinkedIn profile, etc., and read your post, The Art of College Survival, which was just made up. I thought it very informative and was wondering if I could ask for your feedback on some content we are preparing. So, so first of all, what I'm doing here, here is I'm is reaching out to them, not with an app just like, hey, can you promote me? But I'm acknowledging the work that they've already done. And I let them know that I've actually read some of their work. I, I, I compliment them on it. And um, uh, I, I asked them not if they could promote me, but if I could get some feedback from them as the expert. And then, and then uh, uh, I, I, bolded I bolded the question, the question, the question I want them to, uh, I, I want them to answer. And then I say, uh, it would be great uh, if to have your input, this content uh, that we are going to post on our blog, and uh, it's perfect for me to share with your readers as well, so I can win win proposition. And uh, ask if it's possible to get a little conversation with you. Let's be real conversation. And that, and that uh, uh, really, it's really about, it's about them. them. That's one of the That's best ways for engaging, engaging with the conversation, with the conversation simply, asking simply asking people because their approach, a lot of them are all day long. Day long, 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 long for most part, they're going to be hard. You're breaking up again there, Andra. So uh, be uh, just letting you know, like, uh, you're coming, uh, just for the last like couple sentences there, you were coming in and out. You were good before then, but now it's breaking up pretty hard. Okay, 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 hopefully. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Okay. okay. So, so anyway, this anyway, is uh, this is a, this a great template for, for you to use if you want to reach out to a, uh, 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 an influencer. Uh, and, you know, the very special types of people, people that, that, that are doing are things, things that are relevant. Awesome. So, so anyway, anyway uh, uh, yeah, so yeah, so that's that's, that's one, thing one thing that we'll that probably hit upon even, even more in future, in future modules, modules, but, but I just wanted I just to wanted cover to that cover now. That now. Uh, does, uh, anybody does anybody have any have questions? questions? Uh, Justin, Justin, do you have anything, anything you want to add to that? To that? Uh, not, no, I mean, I think on, on, on this subject, I think uh, you, you covered it pretty well. I mean, again, like, the name of the game is exposure, right? So... Um, when you're connecting with these influencers and you are are, are kind of uh, you're borrowing rapport and you're borrowing their networks to to kind of uh, co-brand each other. So it's like that. I, I just want to add just how powerful it is. I mean, um, influencer marketing is like one of the biggest methods of um, of growing your uh, growing awareness around your brand or your service or your product in 2017. I mean, this thing is, it's pretty much the, the key to, to having a successful marketing campaign um, in this day and age. And it's only going to be growing. And I mean, there are going to be some influencers that um, probably no matter what you do, they're not going to share your content because eventually as these people become more, um, more well known and more, uh, and they get more exposure, they're going to start charging. And it's going to be, I mean, if you become an influencer yourself, you can, you can charge companies to share their products, share their services, share articles from people like you that are wanting to, to connect with them. So, I mean, I, I just want to talk this a little bit about um, just how important this is in, um, again, in the modern era. So that, that's all I wanted to add. But yeah, I think you're doing yeah. a great job. Just keep, uh, and, keep rolling. And, 
And in future, and in future modules, modules, we're going to show you how you become um, an um, How do you do that? Well, you have to wait for module, module six. Oh, okay, good, good. All right. I'll wait. <laughs> All, right. All right. So it right. seems so like you don't have any other questions, here, questions here, here, but everyone's doing a really great job. I'm going to give you your assignment. Your assignment is find an influence that you it is, it is uh, a cross or uh, messaging, uh, messaging and, and connect with them. Send, send them out a message, out a message and, and connect with them. With you don't, them. Have, to you don't do have to do a, a template, template like, I did, like I did with the email, email but just but connect, with, connect them. with them. That's all we're asking we, we did, uh, us to do is look for an influencer and then connect with them. I love it. Simple. Quick, easy. So I want you guys to, to have that ready. Hopefully, if you, uh, for those of you that aren't on the call, you're watching the recording right now, and you can get that done. Um, I also wanted to add, uh, Melinda had emailed me. She can't make these calls. She's on the East Coast. Uh, but she was asking, uh, I have that document in the LinkedIn course about the industry codes. And that's really um, something we haven't covered yet. And that, it has to do with kind of third-party integrations if you use like a CRM software um, and you're importing data from LinkedIn. So it's a little more advanced. We'll probably just touch on it briefly, but it, uh, for now, you don't really need to know what those codes mean. They just represent different industries and it has to do with uh, uh, API integration and things like that, which uh, again, we'll, we'll touch on that later in the course, uh, but don't worry about it for now. So that's, uh, so, that's all right, everybody, everybody right, addressing everybody. a question I got by email, so I wanted to represent her on the call here. <laughs> great, but, uh, great. Well, good call, and uh, if you have the, any other questions, of course, you can email us and uh, uh, text us directly anytime for any kind of uh, issues that you run into. We'll be giving you each an individual call just to help you along with any problems that you may have. And, yeah, everybody, uh, uh, Everybody in the course has a one-hour call with us. They have a 60-minute call that you get one-on-one. -on -one. So um, I'll send out an email to everyone to uh, to remind them that they can uh, we can book that. So I'll, I'll just have I'll have people send over uh, send over some availability and we'll get those booked. And I've, I've already got uh, thank you uh, awesome uh, yeah we got a couple of people just saying thank you in the chat I appreciate that. And uh, so let's uh, have a great week. Let's get let's get on LinkedIn. Let's make sure that we're uh, we're staying motivated. Let's make sure we're all hustling. Let's make sure that we're connecting. We're finding influencers. And uh, I guess we'll see you next Wednesday night at 7 p.m. All right. All right. Very good. Very Until good. then, Until take, then. Care, take care, everybody. Until then, stay classy. <laughs> all right, man. Goodbye. <laughs>